trying to feel out the difficulty level, but we're treating this as if uh, it's a, either a, not a, not beginners, but just very low impact for people with injuries. Um, but we'll do some stretching, some mobility, and just kind of get you guys a little heated up. Um, go backwards. Yeah, we'll give you guys some kind of progressions too. If you're looking for something a little bit more challenging, we'll throw a couple more uh, variations your way. And a lot of times, the way to make it harder is just kind of doing the movements a little bit faster. Uh, still, obviously, trying to stay in under control, but um, we'll let you guys know when that's happening. Keep in mind, like our goal today is to make error on the side of being easier. Um, so if it does feel easy again, like Zach said, make sure you guys challenge yourself. Um, but our goal isn't to have you guys drip and sweat and, and be Each turns and there, guys, little side to side, just throw them up a little bit, back and forth. And for us personally, leading this class is a much needed break from some of the other ones we've been doing. So <laughs> we're gonna touch that. Our cardio is getting exposed. <laughs> That's good there, guys. Go ahead and spread those feet just a little side to side, stretching out the back of those legs just a little bit. Slowly going over and back on it there. Taking your time, guys. Uh, oh, yeah. And also, if you guys have like a chair or anything like that, um, you might want to get it a little bit closer to you just for like some balancing exercises. Um, or if you just have anything to kind of rest your hands on, that'd be good as well. The chair's for assistance. So if you guys don't need it, we obviously will have body weight options. We're going to be demonstrating one person standing, the other person will be a regression in the chair uh, for those of you that need the chair. Um, From there, guys, just bring the knee up, out to the side, loosening up those hips a little bit, taking your time with it. Um, but yeah, so we'll, you'll probably see two different things going on at the same time. Like one of us will introduce the, the baseline drill. The other one will show a regression. Um, we'll also show a progression, which is harder. Um, so just kind of listen along and visually just kind of peek at the screen whenever you need to. From there, guys, just a couple little warm-up squats. Even if you can't go down too low, that's okay. Feet about shoulder width apart, sinking the weight back on those heels, a little bending those knees on it. As you guys are coming up, a little reach over that middle, stretch out your side a little bit. See where my knees are at, not going past my toes on it. I'm sticking my butt back, the weight's back on those heels. Nice and slow. Like I said, if you can't go too low, go as low as you're comfortable with. You'll see a lot of stuff is based on range of motion, right? So don't, if you want it harder, really sink all the way down. If you need it easier, either don't go as low, or you can even use your hands just to kind of give you a little bit of support uh, in case your knees are bugging. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll keep everything very functional and fundamental. The, the goal is to build up some uh, a good foundation for you guys here. Next up, guys, a couple lunges in place. That'll be the tough version. Just stepping back, guys, dropping that knee down a little bit. You're reaching up. Nice, good stretch. You guys have any issues lunging with, like, your knees or anything? Just one foot out in front of the other, pushing those hips forward, stretching out the back of your leg, as well as the front of that hip on the leg that's back. Hold about 10 seconds or so each side. If you're feeling good, though, give me a few lunges like Chris is doing, just alternating. And even if you're not dropping the knee down too far. And switch those legs there, guys. Same thing, another one, about 10 seconds. If you switch it, if not, just keep on giving me a few more lunges. Remember, hands on the legs, always a good way to support, sir. Absolutely. And that's pretty good there, guys. Next up, we're just kind of getting the feet moving in place a little bit, guys, chopping those feet. If you're feeling pretty good, you can try picking up the knees a little bit higher on it, or just little quick ones in place, about 10 more seconds or so. Just getting our heart rate up a little bit, firing up that nervous system. You'll see for the least amount of impact on these, you don't even need to lift your toes off the ground. We can kind of just get our heels going. A little, little. It's a borderline dance move, actually. Work those hips a little bit. Ready to hit the club already. Let's go. And then from there, guys, that's good. Go ahead and spread it one more time. Nice and slow down. Just a good stretch. If you guys have any, like, if you ever get dizzy going up and down too fast, just make sure you're going down nice and slow. Keep that head up a little bit. Find where you're comfortable at until you feel a good stretch in those hamstrings. If you're feeling pretty good, try and get those hands down to the ground. If not, go as far as you're comfortable with. And back up nice and slow, guys. All right. And Chris will lead you guys through the first one here. All right. So Format is we're going to be doing everything in one minute interval. So 45 seconds on, 15 seconds of rest, and then we'll get into the next one. So the very first one we're doing is just basic squats. So like we're doing the warm up, we're just going to be squatting down, coming up from here for 45 seconds. Take your time. I just want a nice, good pace. All right, here we go. Ready, set, and go for 45 seconds. Get down, all the way up. So a slightly easier version here, guys. If you do have a chair, all you're doing is sitting down into your chair, 
Rest for a second, either using your hands or not, and then just standing right up from there, guys. Nice, slow pace down. Nice, slow pace up. Perfect, just like that, guys. And so you'll see, I'll always give you guys the base. The first person will give you the baseline, then we'll show you a chair or a seated regression. If you want something harder, maybe up a little faster. All right, you can always change the speed. So down control, up a little faster. You got about 10 more seconds here, and then you're on a 15 second break. Good, last little bit here. Try to get a little extra depth to this last squat. You got three, two, and one. Perfect there, guys. So the next up, we're just doing some punches, guys. Standing version of this, little bend in the knees, is punching over and across, going at a pace that you guys are comfortable with. We're on in about five seconds. Four, three, two, ready, and go. A little bend in the knees, guys, punching over and across at whatever speed you're comfortable with. If you want a seated version, so I'm sitting here, I'm on the edge of my seat, so I have a little room to sit up nice and tall, save my day, we're just punching to the side. I guess if you have arm rest on your chair, you have to stay up, up above it. But little twist of the shoulders and keep your core tight. That's the key here. Don't get too close to the person next to you, unless they want a black guy on it. It's coming a little closer, Chris, I'll give you a good one. You got it out, finish that face off for Gee, you. Gene, Duncan, you got someone next to you. <laughs> you guys got about 15 more seconds here, guys, looking good, let's go. 10 seconds, guys. Close them out. Come on. Stay with it, guys. Stay with it. Give me five, four, three, two, one, and time. Perfect there, guys. Good, good. Next up, we're marching. So a little bit of cardio. So you're just driving knees up. We're marching. I try to swing my arms. Make sure you look like a professional marcher, like you're marching with a purpose. We're just marching up. All right, we got three, two, one, go. Get those knees all the way up to the hips. Again, range of motion. I don't want little ones. Get them high marches. So a little bit of an easier one here, guys, on your chair. A little bit of balance. One knee up, pause, pause, back down. Other knee up, pause, pause, back down. Still up nice and tall, keeping that core tight. Good. And obviously, if you want to pick up speed, or even if you want a little bit of impact, we can get running just a little bit with those high knees just to get your heart rate up. Um, but this will be as hard of the cardio as we'll get today. I don't want you guys going too much from the very first class. You got about 15 seconds left. Perfect. I don't want to mess up your arms too much, but when you march, opposite arm, opposite knee goes forward at the same time. That way you keep your core in balance. Good. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and time. 15 second breather, guys. And now we're right back to those squats again, guys. So if you can, just give me the good body weight ones. Sinking them down, extending back up. You guys are on in about five seconds. Four, three, two, Ready, and go. Let's hit it, guys. So this refresher, weight back on those heels, sinking them down, chest out, coming up nice and tall. Take a memory regression, stand up from a chair, right back down. If you need to use those hands, we'll give you a little boost up, perfectly fine. You guys want a little harder on these squatty weight ones? You get down there, give me a couple little tiny pulses at the bottom, coming up from there, dropping it down, a couple little tiny pulses. Uh, from there. If not, just keep a good pace going. Kind of just keep an eye on Chris and I. We're going at a pretty good baseline pace right now. You crank it up a little faster. I like it. If not, just try and stick with us. We'll lead you to the promised land. I promise. You guys got 10 more seconds there, guys. 10 more seconds. Handful more. Let's go. And give me five, three, two, one. And time. Beautiful, guys. Back to the punches. Good. Next up, back to punches. Remember, you can always start early, too. You still have about 10 seconds of rest. You're welcome to start early, keep yourself moving. Uh, but we're gonna make sure the feet are about shoulder width apart, little bend here, we're on in. Three, two, one, hands up, protect the face, punch side to side, rotate at your core here, twist. Remember guys, you can recreate the same motion from a sitting position, hitting it over and across. I just want you guys to keep that core nice and tight. Little exhale as you punch across, get that air going back each time. Perfect, guys, good. Keep your core tight. If you want a little bit harder, you can add a little duck and then come up as you punch. Duh, turn your back foot, find just a little more rotation here. Still light impact, but now we're just getting a bigger rotation as we punch across. Or we're staying to a low squat. We're adding a little bit of speed to it, guys. I think you can do it. Step it up just a little bit here. Obviously, go at your own pace, but I think you guys can push a little more here for the last seven seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. 15 seconds off, guys. We're right back to those marches again on it. A little variation this time if you want. Bringing it up with a little twist over and across on these ones here, guys. A little twist over and across. You guys are on in five, four, three, two, ready, and go. So bring your knee up, guys. Opposite elbow to that knee each time. Back and forth, nice and smooth on these. Remember, chair for support. Anytime we do any balancing ones, 
uh, lifting legs up and standing on one of the chairs, always good balance. You can even make it more of a static hold. So you want to kind of straighten your hip flexor, hold for a few seconds, back down. No. This one will cook the legs pretty good, guys. If you see me on my little twist up here as well, you can kind of get those obliques firing, kind of simulating a crunch from a standing position. Really just squeezing those abs over and across each time. Nice and smooth. You guys got 15 more seconds, guys. 15 work, more guys. seconds, handful more. Looking pretty good. 10 seconds, guys. If you guys are feeling good from there, give me some quick feet for the last 10 seconds or so. Fire them out, fire them out. Let's go, let's go. You got three, two, one. And time. Perfect, guys. Good job. All right, so you're through the first three that we repeated twice. We're going to get to a little stretch now. So we're going to do about a minute and a half of a stretch. So we're going to go to a split stance, which is similar to your lunge, but we're not going to drop down quite as low. So a little bend in the front knee. All right, and we're going to stand here, and we're just going to stretch up. Take your hips, kind of push them forward just a little. We want to stretch through the front here. All right, once we're set there, arms are out, and we're just holding nice and tight here. You should get a little pressure on that front leg. And a stretch through the back here. And let's go for another four. Get a little lower if you can. Three, two, one. Good. Let's switch sides now. Other foot forward. And right into it, guys. So start out here. Another variation is to reach up tall. Remember, you're going for a stretch on the front of that back leg. Okay, we're going to be holding everything for about 20 seconds. You got about eight seconds more here, and then we're going to show you the next variation here. Good. Drop a little lower for the last three, two, one. Good there. Perfect there, guys. Next up, all we're doing is just reaching that arm over and across, guys. Go ahead. Elbows are basically touching each other. Over and across, you guys are going to feel a good stretch in the side of that arm coming across here on it. Just hold it nice and strong. First arm is up. Pulling it over if you're feeling good on it. It's a great chance to show off any shoulder tattoos that you may have. That I'm sure your parents love and approve of. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> and switch those arms there, guys. Same thing the other way. Over and across. I love it. They can't voice their disapproval. They're all muted. This is fantastic. <laughs> we'll talk later, Lou. I know them well enough that they don't have to actually say anything. I know what they're thinking. <laughs> Silence and no reaction could be worse sometimes, <laughs> I guess. Five more seconds here, guys. Holding strong. About three, two, one. Very and good. time. 20 seconds off, guys. Get a little sip of water if you need it, and we'll get into the next rotation. Good take job, a water, guys. guys. Take, take a minute, actually. A minute and 20 seconds. Catch your breath, guys. It's that low impact, low intensity. I still got a little sweat going. So far, so good. So yeah, the next, you got a little time. The next three we're going to get into, I'll just kind of brief you on it. Do some calf raises for the uh, back of your legs there. We'll do a little side kicks for the outside of your hips. A lot of, a lot of hip work is uh, where a lot of your uh, pain and everything originates. We want to straighten your hips. Um, and then we'll do a little bit of upper body arm flaps. We got about 30 more seconds, and then we'll walk you through it all. Hey guys, so I'll start explaining. I think most of you guys have done calf raises before, but all you're doing here is standing up nice and tall, extending up on those toes, a little pause at the top, bringing them back down, extending those toes up, a little pause at the top each time, back and forth, smooth on those ones. We're going about 10 seconds, guys. Start getting situated. More like five, four, three, two, ready, and go. 